Beautiful pearl necklaces have been loved by people for many years. They look so shiny and pretty. But how are pearls made? They're not just a gift from the ocean. Each pearl takes a long time to grow, about a year or more. It's a special mix of nature and the hard works of people. Let's find out the amazing story of how pearls are made, from the sea to the jewelry you wear. There are more than 800 kinds of oysters in the world, but only a few can make really nice pearls. In the wild, it's very hard for a pearl to form. Only one out of 10,000 oysters makes a beautiful pearl on its own. That's why natural pearls are so expensive, much more than the ones people grow on farms. Pearls can be many colors, like white, black, yellow, blue, pink, or purple. The color depends on the type of oyster, the water around it, and what's in that water. For example, Akoya pearls are white and shiny. South Sea pearls look golden. Tahitian pearls are black and sparkly. And freshwater pearls can be soft colors like pink or purple. Oysters live for different amounts of time. Freshwater ones can live 20 to 100 years. Saltwater ones live 10 to 30 years. And some wild oysters in Europe have even lived over 250 years. How does a pearl grow? When something small, like a piece of sand, gets inside an oyster, the oyster doesn't push it out. Instead, it covers the sand with a shiny layer called nacre. Nacre is like a smooth, sparkly coat made of special stuff from the oyster. Over time, more and more layers of nacre cover the sand, and that's how a pearl is made. People who grow pearls on farms copy this idea to make pearls faster. In Japan, a place called Ego Bay in Mi Prefecture is famous for growing pearls. It's been doing this since a long time ago, around the 1900s. The water there is very clean, and it's just right for oysters to grow well. Farmers add tiny plants called microalgae to the water. These plants are food for the oysters, helping them grow strong and make better pearls. To grow pearls, farmers start with young oysters. They put two oysters together and tie them with a net to keep them safe. When the oysters get big enough, after a few months, they let them go into the sea to grow on their own. The sea helps the nacre layer on the pearl get thicker and shinier. making the pearls really pretty and high quality. Growing pearls takes a long time, about 12 months to two years. Farmers have to check the oysters every two or three months. They look for things like barnacles or seaweed that can make the oysters sick. They also clean the trays where the oysters live to keep the water nice and clean. This helps the oysters stay healthy and make the best pearls. When the oysters are two to four years old, it's time to take the pearls out. People hold the oysters tightly, open the shell gently, and use special tools to take the pearl out carefully so it doesn't break. If the oyster is still healthy, they can put a new tiny piece inside it to grow another pearl later. This way, they can keep using the same oyster, which is good for the environment. After taking the pearls out, they clean them to remove any dirt.
Then they polish the pearls to make them shiny and check them to see how good they are. They look at the size, color, and how much they shine. Hey oh, it's a sunny day. Hey oh, it's a funny day. Let's say bye to the rain. Let's say bye to the pain. The sun is hot and it's shining bright. And everything is bathed in light. Birds singing in harmony. Oh, the biggest, shiniest pearls are the best. Oh, ho, 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 let's enjoy this energy. Oh, ho, 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 sun is a therapy. Hey, ho, it's a sunny day. Hey, ho, it's a sunny And are used to make fancy necklaces that look very pretty and expensive. Let's play some game, let's do some praise. Flowers and bloom and it's midday. Bees buzzing along the way. A lot of colors all around. Where's the sadness? It can be found. Oh, ho, 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 let's enjoy this energy. Oh, ho, 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 sun is a therapy. Smaller or less shiny pearls might be used for other things, like earrings or bracelets. What happens to the oyster after the pearl is taken out? People don't waste anything. They carefully cut the meat from the oyster shell. The meat can be used for food, like in soups or other tasty dishes. The shell is used for other things too, like making decorations, getting calcium for health products, or even helping plants grow as a natural fertilizer. This way, every part of the oyster is used and nothing goes to waste. From growing the oysters in the clean waters of Igo Bay to picking the best pearls for fancy necklaces, each pearl shows how beautiful nature is. Only the very best pearls become jewelry that looks elegant and special, like a shiny necklace you might wear for a big party. That's all for today from Back to the Barn. Join us next time to learn more fun stories about where things come from. Oh, ho, 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 let's enjoy this energy.